What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. You join me today in the Lincoln Co. 01 which I picked up last week but more importantly today is all about the electric range of this 01 as it is a plug-in hybrid. So a couple of details first before we get driving, what do we have? Well the 01 is a plug-in hybrid car, that means that up front we have a 1.5 liter petrol engine, three cylinder turbocharged, comes with a seven speed dual clutch gearbox. But more importantly, with that comes also a battery pack in the car, which is good for about 17.6 kilowatt hour, of which effectively you can use, of course, as the battery always needs a little bit of power left in it, which is 14.1 kilowatt hour effective usage. So that means up front we have a total powertrain of about 260 horsepower. The battery motor is also up front in the car and that might sound actually familiar. Well it is. This drivetrain is pretty much the same with the same engine codes and all that of the Volvo XC40 T5 Recharge, the plug-in hybrid car of Volvo. That car also has a nice electric range, but this one has a bit more impressive because according to Lincoln Co, this car has a WLTP of 69 kilometers of electric range. That's pretty impressive and very usable for your daily commute to work, for example. But of course, that's a WLTP and we know that's always um, not the most reliable, I guess. So up to me today to check that out and find out how far we get on the electric range of this car. Doing so we will use my standardized test track of which the Ford Kuga was the first one to do that. Link to that video is also now in the screen which was also a very impressive electric range. Anyway the route consists of about 32 kilometers of local roads, national roads and highways. So to simulate the most realistic kind of driving style with the electric power. So, that being said, I think it's time to go and uh, find out how far we get on the electric range. All right, so time to go. A couple of things first, the car is started. Let's go for the correct drive mode. So up here, down below, we have a drive mode toggle, which you can activate. Make sure you tap pure, because if you use the toggle, you will cycle through power and the engine will also kick in. And that's the thing we do not want. So that's pure. Over here, a couple of settings, we'll be going for the AC off for the eco mode that is always the mode the car will start in so that's pretty interesting and also up here in the screen we can see pure mode ready and we have 75 kilometers of range which is already sounding pretty good comparing it to the WLTP but for now AC is off so up here we have a nice button which we can open the sunroof wedge and there we go we have a lovely sunny day so why not open up the roof time to go. Yeah. All right, so we have started the first lap of the test. Um, before I forget to mention, I've also put the car in the B mode, which is a regenerative driving mode, which basically means you can drive a lot with the one pedal only. So the car will brake more aggressively, getting more energy from the braking system. So that's also a nice trick to get a bit of energy back when slowing down. So B mode it is for now. We still have 75 kilometers of range, so let's go. We are entering the highway in the first round. The car is performing uh, pretty well. In the B mode, you notice that a lot of energy gets regenerated by braking for traffic lights and those things. So, pretty efficient so far. Up now, we have 65 kilometers of electric range left. Uh, of course, on the highways, that goes a bit faster. Also, pretty interesting, whilst accelerating in pure mode, the car stops at 95 kilometers an hour for a couple of seconds that's also what you saw in the video that's an interesting thing that's an error apparently in the system of the car and i hope soon lincoln co will issue a software update for that because it's pretty tricky and you also really notice it whilst accelerating that it isn't really that safe as well so that's an interesting one 
Anyway, little side note for now, 64 kilometers, let's continue. Alright, so first lap completed, 32.5 kilometers. Yeah, with ease at this moment, still 50 kilometers of range left, which is uh, pretty impressive. And that will crush the WLTP if we continue like this. Meanwhile, enjoying the drive. I'm really liking the Lincoln Co. In the B mode, you also don't really need to tap the brake all the time because the car brakes itself whilst regenerating. So that's also very smooth. Also, the car comes to a very smooth standstill, just like now. So overall, a great ride up so far. For now, let's continue. So second round completed, we are in the third one. Current status, we have driven 66 kilometers, fully electric, and the battery still has a range of 15 kilometers left. And if we look in the system, it says 18%. So it's pretty impressive. The WLTP, I'm pretty sure we're gonna beat that. So that's pretty cool. But for now, the question, how far will we go over that WLTP? And I'm really curious for that as well. So for now, third lap, let's go. Alright, so brief update, we've driven 77, almost 78 electric kilometers, which is pretty impressive and crushing the WLTP. But as indicated at this moment on the screen, the range is not displayed anymore. So that means the battery is almost empty. So let's wait for now and see when the motor will kick in, but probably that will be any second. All right, there we go. So the engine has kicked in. We made 81 fully electric kilometers, which is, yeah, if you ask me, pretty impressive and not much to say else about that. It's just very good. There's also plenty of electric power over the entire range, whether you accelerate on the highway or just driving smoothly on national roads, it's all perfectly smooth and just a great drivetrain of 80 horsepower, I believe. So the overall, very good. So there we go guys, that is the electric range test of the Lincoln Co. 01 plug-in hybrid car. It's an impressive car if you ask me, I'm really enthusiastic about it. There are a couple of flows as that 95 kilometer acceleration thingy in electric mode, but anyway, small detail, overall very impressive. So there we go, I thank you a lot for watching.